What's going on guys? Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys what you can do today during awards and what we might see uh, with the market in general and how you guys can make coins with it. Before we get into the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Let's hit 100 likes on it. That'd be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on. It's the most important thing to do. Get involved with us over on the Discord. It gives you guys free guides. Probably another guide coming out today as well following this video. If you guys came into my video yesterday and you came into the Discord, you saw a guide in there. Uh, similar thing may happen today as well uh, with what you guys could possibly do today during, uh, you know, during rewards day. So, let's get into it. Also, get involved with us over on Twitch. We're there every single day. We'll be there today live. I don't know what time I'll be live because I'll be getting the PS5. And I want to be able to stream with the new fast menus. So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about rewards, what we think is going to happen. I believe the meta market's going to do pretty well today. Um, today, EA kind of threw a curveball a little bit at us. And they gave us a 25k pack SBC. Which really looked like it supplied the market today with a lot of cards. A lot of special cards got supplied today. Uh, a lot of roads to the finals dropped. You know, where is it? Right there. Rare gold pack. So we got this, I believe, a 25k pack. Um, we did get pack supplied today, and that kind of made the market drop um, as a whole, really. I mean, gold cards dropped today. So, you know, this week in general was probably a buy day on Wednesday. Unfortunately, there was no way for us to really know that E was going to do something like this. But anytime before Thursday, obviously, it's a buy on cards. Uh, cards have kind of rebounded, so they're not really down anymore. They are actually up again. But um, what I think is going to happen with, and we'll go into the popular page right here on Fuppin, is uh, I expect I expect gold minutes to do actually pretty well. I expect guys like Sun, uh, guys like Rashford, guys like Mendy, guys like Gomez to probably continue to rise up in price. Another guy, probably Ramos as well. Uh, Timo Werner, I think, could do pretty well as well. Um, Pogba, I've got a couple of him. Uh, I expect those kind of cards to go up today. I think Sterling can also rise. I bought some at 86. I think Walker's going to rise today as well. Um, I expect Mane. I expect um, all of those kind of cards. The top tier metas probably will rise as well. I bought a Marcial uh, that I think is going to do uh, decent. Bruno Fernandez is out of packs. So again, you guys can hold on to him and sell whenever you're comfortable with the profit. He's out of packs. Same thing with like a Messi, right? You'd probably want to sell on a Friday night. Now that he's out of packs, but something that we're also going to be seeing rises on is obviously past informs and past specials. So let's go and show you guys a couple of the cards that we could see rise on today. Uh, I expect, and we called this on the live stream, which was a really good call, was buying Renato Sanchez in form at 230k. I believe it was yesterday. He's now up 30,000 coins at 262. I believe you're going to continue to see a rise in a guy like this. Uh, St. Maximin, I can expect a rise on him as well. Um, looking at the most games played, these two are the most by far. And I expect these guys to be bought today as well, knowing that they're both super hyped players. Um, a lot of these informs are going to rise. Now, be careful with this Lozano. Be careful with Umakano. Uh, I think Teo could do well this week because people are going to be building Ligon and French sides. Uh, plus, you also have the link to Kunde, which is a soft link. Courtois, I bought a Holland. I bought both of these, actually. You can expect rises in some of these informs and specials that have had the most games played on them. But something that you're going to see happen at rewards say that you potentially could make coins on. Now, it's not a guarantee that it rebounds, but last week we did this with Jao Felix where we bought Jao Felix when he got really low around rewards time. Uh, in the first five minutes of rewards, we bought them at 200 to 205. He went right away up to 240 and then started to come crashing back down. I could see that happening on a couple of these cards. Now, I've already seen a uh, a rise on Konate. Um, he he had a pretty crazy graph today, right? He's 95k now, but this card went all the way down to 70k. And then he rebounded very nicely back up, like 20, 30k. Um, I could see a guy like Konate possibly going up after rewards. Like I said, this is not like something you guys can do and it's like a guaranteed profit. But buying at rewards in that first 5, 10 minutes of supply... You might be able to get uh, an article in this car and then be able to see it rise um, after everyone's done opening up their packs and they start buying into stuff. I can see Konati and I can also see a guy like Watkins also being that guy that, you know, kind of drops a little bit but then also rises again. So stay tuned uh, you know, with the inform and see how far they really drop. Another thing you guys can do today um, is Road to the Finals. Now, Road to the Finals, this is going to be the buy day for a lot of cards. Whenever you're watching this video, 
I would expect guys like Davies, guys like Rashford, guys like Griezmann, Salah, Klosterman, and maybe even Zachariah to add that to the list as well. Maybe cheapest before awards today. Um, normally what you see on a Wednesday going into a Thursday rewards is people panic sell the road to the finals because or the promo cards because they believe they can buy them back cheaper at rewards. And I really do think that the cheapest time will be before awards on these guys. Now we're talking about guys like Sanson, guys like Muriel, guys like Parasage, guys like Tyson, even a guy like Old Black. Um, maybe even Old Black at rewards you could buy as well. I would buy these today, probably either during marquee matchups. Uh, when we get that supply, or you buy them at rewards the first 15, 20 minutes uh, of rewards while they're being supplied. Because I think right after that, a lot of people are going to buy into these guys. And I don't even think there's going to be a buy window for guys like Davies or Rashford or Griezmann, uh, Klosterman or Salah. I just don't see there being much of a buy window on those guys. So that's something you guys could do to hold for out of packs. If you want to wait like a week on these guys, they should rise out of pack very nicely. Based on graphs that we had seen last year, these guys were the cheapest while they were in packs. You buy them, they should rise out of packs because people know they're live FUD cards. They always will have a value because of the team that they play for. So a guy like Alfonso Davies, once his supply dries up in a couple of days, regardless of overinvestment or not, which I don't really see them being overinvested in, um, regardless, he plays for Bayern, a team that is probably going to be getting an upgrade. Um, a team that's probably going to be going to the semifinals, which means that he's going to be getting an 86, 87, 88 card. And that's why people will buy into this card uh, and their first upgrade isn't potentially until like a month away from now, but people will still buy into these cards. So look for these cards today to make money out of packs with them. Um, I would say today also is going to be a good day um, to look at. Uh, and let me just go into my Tech Avion list. This is my Discord, by the way, guys. If you want to get involved with it, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Straight from Chris section, which we have our guides, special card trading, chem style method, all of that in here. Now we're gonna click on this Tech Avion page and we're gonna drag this over just so I can show you guys. Um, but this is gonna be a great option for you guys today, um, either during marquee matchups or also during rewards itself. I probably would look towards marquee matchups doing this, okay? Finding the most meta cards in here, the most used gold cards, and as they're dropping, what you're gonna to wanna to do is pick them up for one and two K under the current price, and you're gonna to try to sell it one and two K higher. Now are you going to see rebounds in these guys? Maybe not, but are, are they going to be stagnant? They probably will be. So like an hour or two hours after awards or hour after marquee matchups, you guys can buy these cards 1 to 2K under their current price, and you can try to sell 1 to 2K higher. And you can do this for a lot of different cards. You could do this for Lucas. You could do this for Dembele. You might even be able to up the, the lazy buyer. It could be 2K. It could be 3K above the current price. Um, Thursdays is the type of day where you know a lot of people are buying stuff. And regardless, even if these cards are not rising, they still are needed for people's teams. It's just that supply has gone here and demand is still here, but supply is starting to take over now. Um, so these guys will still be used uh, in teams and you will get some lazy buyers on them. Uh, we were doing a little bit with Kai Havertz before. Uh, we, we've been doing it with Ashley Valverde if we actually go back onto the game here. Um, and this was yesterday where we, we bought like six of these. We bought two Firminos, by the way, at 40k, 40.5, and we sold them at 45 with Tech Avio, and we sold our Havertz, obviously. And we sold our six uh, Valverdes here that we got. Uh, and he does very well for Tech Avio and flipping. So if you look at him at like 17k, and make sure you guys are getting, uh, you know, chem styles on the cards or applying them yourselves. It doesn't have to be a crazy good chem style, but it could be a random one. Um, and then may maybe see if there's a position change as well, and you might be able to make a good amount of coins on. Like right now, I'm currently trying to sell uh, one of my Velvertas I bought today. He's got a CDM and a Shadow, and I've been listening to him a couple times, uh, but right now, not many people are buying, obviously, because of late night, but I still expect it to sell, so that's why I keep relisting it. And the worst comes to worst, you take like a 200 coin loss, which is not crazy at all. Uh, you'll be making a 2 to 3k a card, and your, uh, your risk is... And you're just going to keep listing every single hour for lazy buyers. And it works very, very well. So take a look at my Discord. There's a full list of players to do within there. Um, another thing you guys could do today is I expect icons to really go up today. Um, do very, very well. And sometimes they hit really high peaks. Um, usually Friday morning, like before 12 p.m. Or like 12 to 2 p.m. is usually the last time where the market is really high until the panic window starts. So icons are going to do well. And as the day goes on, what you can look at doing with icon trading is looking for big undercuts. Uh, on these cards you could really do icon training today 
Um, I would expect these cards to do very well. Like, for example, this Crespo here could easily go 480, 490. So, like, if you see, like, a 450 tomorrow, right, you list for 490 because you expect him to rise in price. Uh, just like a lot of the other icons. Like, we have, uh, where is it? We have, like, a guy like uh, Gattuso, right? Gattuso's baby, right, was, like, two, like 560 last week or something like that. He's a very, very, very meta card. Uh, if you look right here, uh, he's 527k. If you find around a 500 or 510, right, you can look at selling for 550, 560 as the market is really inflated, which is great. You're buying in a market that's super high, so you know you're going to get sales at a price that, you know, you like pretty much. Um, I wouldn't look at the Europa League cards today. I would not buy them today, to be honest. Um, hold on. Uh, wait, are you sure you want to exit? it? No, no, no. Um... I would look at, I would probably just stay away from the Europa League cards. Now, there could be an opportunity here where these guys might drop a significant amount, whatever their supply today, and you could see a rebound on them, because obviously when cards get to the lowest point, there's always some sort of rebound on them. So maybe you take, you pay attention to a guy like Ndidi or a guy like Bruno Perez, maybe not even Bruno Perez, but a guy like Ndidi today, right? If you see a lot of supply on this card, say he drops all the way down to like 250 by rewards, right? You might see a little bit of a rebound at 275, 280. Um, and again, it, that's risk trading, but it's something that we do see on Thursdays. Now, what I also would say is look out for any overinvestment on cards uh, today. Now, there's a card that I believe is really overinvested in, and that is uh, Jao Felix. Now, Jao Felix is 180K. He was 130, 135 on uh, for a Saturday afternoon. He's up already like 50,000 coins. So just be very, very careful with a guy like this today. You could sell before rewards if you want to. If not, you sell after, and that's totally fine. Um, I would expect other gold cards to drop today as well. We were just talking about that popular page. Uh, if we can go back on the popular page here. Uh, we were just talking about it, but you can look at guys like uh, Dembele to possibly drop a little bit today. Uh, guys like Allen, right? And throughout the weekend, they're going to keep dropping as well with the sell-off. Um... If you want to try on this on this Lucas card, there's a lack of right wings in the Premier League. Um, this guy could rebound. Uh, he did actually go up on Thursday a little bit. I think he went... To, actually, he didn't even go up. He just stayed the same. Um, but maybe if you find him at like 30k or 29 during rewards, you may see like a 33, 34 on the rebound. But it's not a guarantee. Obviously, it's one of those guys that he's so low rated now that he might be at his kind of like calling where he just doesn't really go up anymore. Um... The guys that'll be safe for the out of pack guys like Griezmann, like Rashford, like Bruno Fernandez, Abamying, uh, and then the obviously meta cards like Pogba, Van Dijk, um, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Conte, Werner, Martial, uh, Messi, Mendy, Gomez, Son, uh, Rashford, Veron. Those kind of cards you can expect a really nice rise. And out of pack informs you could definitely see a rise on them today. You can also one last thing is if informs if they go up to a certain peak today. All right, say, for example, we look at a guy like, let me see a guy. Okay, so we look at a guy like, say, Maximin. Or no, let's go to a guy like Firmino, right? Say Firmino goes to, like, 250,000 coins, but later on in the daytime, he gets pretty low to, like, 235, 230. Maybe you could pick one of those guys up, and you could see a rebound just on the fluctuation. Um, bidding today probably won't work that well. Uh, it's going to be a lot of sniping, and it's going to be a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of competition on cards today, but... I would expect the market to do very well today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. There'll be a link. There'll be a, a guide in my Discord uh, in a couple hours time after the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new right here. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.